Alex, back again with another vape review. And this review, we're going all the way to space. We're going to get in our little rocket ship and we're going to fly all the way up to the sky to meet our little uh, green, you know, green friends with them big old black eyes. <laughs> Uh, actually, we're going to go to um, take a trip to Nevada um, to a little place called uh, Area 51 um, and try this uh, awesome uh, e-juice that they got out that uh, is the bomb, from what I understand. All right, we're going to do a vape review on Alien Vape E-Liquid Area 51, guys. And this is going to be a really good vape. From what I understand, it's got four different types of watermelon, or four different types of melons. I believe there's watermelon, cantaloupe, honeydew. I'm not quite sure what the other one is, but so far we do know that there's definitely watermelon and there's definitely um, honeydew in it. So, today we're going to be vaping it on the profile, and I got it on my Chaos, and... Uh, I'm going to give you a little description of what it says for the juice. It says, Area 51 is a classified blend of melons that will abduct your taste buds. Well, it'll probably abduct my taste buds until this bottle is done with. Um, because uh, if it's anything like people are saying it is, I'm definitely going to be happy. Uh, it is, see, I got it in a, uh, it's a 60 milliliter bottle. Um... It is uh, going to be vaped at uh, 3 milligrams of nicotine. Uh, I believe this is a 70 uh, BG, PG, 70, 30 BG, PG blend. Uh, it's really nice. So look at that. It's really catchy. And uh, look at that. You can tell it's been steeped really good. That's some good stuff, man. I got this at our local store uh, a couple days ago. And... Uh, I'm gonna try it out. See what it, see what it's all about. See what the hype's all about, guys. Hope y'all guys are doing good today. Uh, so far, so good. I'm keeping up with these reviews. At least, at least, at least every day, I'm gonna have a good review for you. So, always for my for my guys, y'all guys, you know, subscribe to my channel. And I'm gonna give y'all what I say. I'm gonna give you. All right, let's do this. Let's give us some drips. I'm gonna soak this up really good first. Um, I'm gonna take a you know a, a drink of water to uh, clean my palate, make sure there's nothing on there that um, would mess up the uh, taste test. All right, let's go ahead and get this thing going. We're gonna be doing it on the profile. I got it going at 55 watts at 0.17 ohms. Smells good. Smells, uh, you definitely smell that watermelon. I'm a big watermelon fan. I love watermelon and strawberry. I like to mix my watermelon and strawberry up together in my sub ohm tanks. Um, that's my favorite thing to do. Or if I got my squonk, my, uh, I'll use it in my pulse. I'll just go ahead and put a little mixture of watermelon and strawberry inside of the squonker and I'll do it that way. Mix it up real good together. But, uh, all right, guys, let's, let's see what all this hype is about with, um, uh, alien bait. Let's go for it. Wow. That's got really good flavor, really good, uh, it's really good thick clouds too. You can definitely, definitely taste that watermelon. You can definitely taste that, that honeydew and, and, and that, and that cantaloupe. But what comes through strong is honeydew. It's not as much watermelon that comes through on this one.
That, my my friends, is an all-day vape. I could definitely do this all day. That's really good. I'll give it a rating of from 1 to 10. I will give it an 8. An 8 plus. Uh, that's pretty good. It's not the best that I've tried, but it is up there. It's pretty good. And I've had some really good different watermelon blends. <clears throat> but that's a really good watermelon blend. Um, it's an all day vape, so I'm I'm gonna give this, you know, definitely give this one a go. Wow, and that's only at 55 watts, guys. Let's check it out at uh 60 watts. See what kind of flavor intensity I get out of it. Oh, yeah. That smells and tastes wonderful. That's really, really good. Yeah, guys. Y'all go out. Uh, you can go to their website. I believe it is www.alienvape.com. And you can pick you up a bottle. They got all kinds. I know they got uh, one called Roswell. They got Area 51. And I think they got a couple of other different brands. Or different flavors uh, that you could try but uh, it's definitely a good bang for your buck um, it's regularly around $21.99 for a 60 milliliter bottle uh, on their website but I got mine here locally for I think I only paid like 11 bucks 10 or 11 bucks for it and uh, that was a really good deal that I got for it so uh, yeah, and you and by the way, I also wanted to touch uh, something with you guys that um, Alien Vape, the company, has actually sued Smoke for their Alien Vape that they have, um, and I used to have it too. They actually sued them for using the name Alien on their mods. And this company was out before Alien came out. Well, before Smoke came out with the Alien. So, uh, Smoke did um, agree that they were using its name. And um, I believe they were fined uh, $17,000 a month to use their name on that device. And Smoke never did pay Alien Vape the money. So I believe that's why Smoke stopped making the Alien AL85 and the regular Alien 220 kit to uh, pretty much because of this, all the, um, the, you know, the stuff that happened in court about using their name. Uh, so I just found out when uh, I wanted to um, send an old Alien uh, mod that I had in, you know, to Mad, Mad Vapes so they could send me a new one. Um, you know, covered under warranty and everything, and they informed me that they did not have the alien kit anymore. Smoke stopped making the alien kit. That I could choose between the pro color, the devilkin, or the mag. And it took me really, really, it, it was a really hard decision between the devilkin and the pro color. I like the pro color, but it only came with the baby with the baby beast tank. Um, and the devilkin was a little more upgraded, it came with the prince tank. Um, and the whole body style of the mod just looked more comfortable to fit in your hand. Uh, it also had the carbon fiber look and stuff, kind of like the X-Priv. And, and uh, so I wanted to go ahead and just uh, order that one. So I believe they're going to be sending me that uh, in the mail. When they do, I'm going to do a little short review. I know there's some reviews out there of it, but I'm going to give my take on it. And uh, let you guys see it. See it here. So anyway, guys, I just want to thank y'all for sticking with me, sticking by me, and uh, checking out these reviews. Uh, I know it ain't. I'm not getting much into it yet. I still got a long ways to go. Um, I am going to be doing some stuff. Hopefully, if I can get uh, enough subscribe subscriptions and enough uh, viewers to where I can get um, do giveaways. And most of those giveaways, I'm going to set aside, and I'm going to try to give. A lot of the stuff overseas to uh, to the military. Uh, I'm gonna find out online which which route that I need to go in order to do that. 
and that way we can get it on and popping. And uh, because I know those guys over there, I think it would be ten times better if they vaped instead of smoking those cigarettes. Because I know after smoking cigarettes <clears throat> and trying to run and all kinds of stuff, it wasn't happening. But vaping, I can literally, you know, hit the vape and I can still run and my my lungs don't feel tight or anything like that. So. Also, you know, that's just doing a good deed for them because, you know, they are, they're giving their ultimate sacrifice for us. Um, they are, um, however you want to say it, they're doing what, what the government, what our government called out for them to do. Um, and they know what they were in for when they signed that piece of paper. And, uh, so we must support our troops, uh, and give them, uh, all the support necessary. So I'm going to try and do that guys. I'm going to try and get it to where like I get some stuff. To where I can donate, or not donate, but give away to them for my giveaways. Uh, also, I'm gonna try to reach out to some subscribers from overseas, you know, and see if we can, if I can get some military, you know, people part of my, uh, part of my um, uh, channel. So, uh, anyways, guys, I just wanna let y'all know that um, I love y'all. Y'all take it easy and vape on and vape strong, guys. I'll see y'all in the next review. Take it easy.